Oh y'all, I'm pretty sure. Do you see that dot in the center of that new green leaf? I'm pretty sure that that's a giant swallowtail um, caterpillar egg. And so I'm gonna be watching that, see if it'll emerge, because I would love to raise another one. They like to lay eggs on new growth. So if you have citrus trees and you see caterpillars on them, let's see if I can get that thing down. Don't kill them, please don't kill them. Let them live. They're not gonna, you know, kill your tree. They just wanna eat a few little leaves of the new growth. I came over here to look for some giant swallowtail caterpillars and I found this praying mantis on the tangerine tree. Isn't it neat? Do you see this little orange guy in the center of that leaf? That is a giant swallowtail caterpillar. And this is probably like the first instar. They like to eat new growth on citrus trees. So this is a giant swallowtail caterpillar. He is about big enough to turn into a chrysalis now. I've been feeding him the new growth from my uh, citrus trees. I found him. Um, giant swallowtails like to lay their eggs on the new growth of citrus trees. And citrus trees are their larval host plants. So if you ever see something like this eating your citrus trees, don't kill it because it's a giant swallowtail. And here's my giant swallowtail caterpillar. You can see I've got fresh green leaves for him. I'm going to put him in a container and let him keep eating that. One thing, now I don't know it about swallowtails, like the giant swallowtails, but the eastern black swallowtails, they'll come out of their chrysalis after either two weeks of being in there or it could take a whole year. So um, I, this is going to be new for me because I have never raised giant swallowtail caterpillars before, so we won't know. I may end up having to babysit it for an entire year. Okay, y'all, I'm so excited. This is the first time I've ever released a giant swallowtail butterfly. Um, it, I don't even know how long it's been out, so I just got home for lunch, and I'm going to flip it, and it may just fly off. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it's so gorgeous. Let's see if I can get it to step up onto my finger. Oh, y'all, y'all, this is so magical. Oh, no, they're going to, he's going to do the thing. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Cool. Let me make it. There he is. I don't want him to crawl up my arm. We're going to just try to put him on some, oh, no, he's doing it. Ah! Okay, that feels weird. Okay, let me get him. Let me get him onto this salvia. Let's see if he'll just. Oh no. It's not good. That's a little better. I've got him on my finger. And um, I'm going to try to transfer it to this salvia. Let's see if it will do it. There you go, giant swallowtail. My very own. So I never bothered to even explain why I love to raise butterflies, but I'm hoping that you see one of the reasons is you get to get extra close to them when you raise them, and that is super fun. Oh, it is so gorgeous. So my giant swallowtail butterfly will probably sit here and just let its wings dry for a little bit longer, and then it'll fly away. And uh, I'm very surprised that how lovely the weather is actually right now because we've got that hurricane that's brewing in the Gulf right now. They're saying it's going to hit New Orleans. But you know, they don't know anything. I can't trust them. Look at that rose. Isn't that pretty? They won't know anything about that weather until it's right upon us. That's usually how that goes. But uh, everything's looking so pretty. I'm gonna go back in here and take a look at these monarchs. So I went and got my giant swallowtail and I decided I was gonna put it on this milkweed. Maybe it'll want to drink it. 
like more than it would want to drink the salvia. Right now, it's just trying to decide if it even wants to live. <laughs> this giant swallowtail uh, butterfly is a little freaked out. It just doesn't know what's happening. It hasn't unfurled its proboscis. You can see that it's still tightly furled. Um, it's just gonna take a little bit of time to get used to being alive. So here's another giant swallowtail uh, butterfly that's living its best life on the milkweed. And maybe my new giant swallowtail will feel a little happier and a little comforted by seeing all these other black butterflies surrounding it. So there's a giant swallowtail just drinking from the milkweed and also a monarch. And then here comes another monarch. And I've got my, my own giant swallowtail that just emerged from its chrysalis sometime today, maybe a couple hours ago. And um, it's gonna be good. He or she is gonna really enjoy living here, I think. I'm not gonna spray me or anything, is he? <laughs>